My guest tonight is one of the UK's most beloved and most successful comedians. Following on from the success of his second Netflix special, Lubricant, six seasons of the Russell Howard Hour and over a billion views on social media worldwide, his most recent tour took him to 79 cities across 24 countries in five continents, which are the kind of numbers that make an epidemiologist sweat. Would you please welcome to the weekly, Russell Howard! <laughs> So, 24 countries. Yep. How many times have you had COVID now? Like, surely you've collected the set. Yeah, no, I only had it once. Really? Yeah. I had three jabs. Um, a lot of my family didn't have the jab. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, Bill Gates wants to re read my mind, does he? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd love to see Bill Gates, the poor fucker, trying to figure out what my cousin's thinking about. How does Pepper Pig get them wellies on, Bill? We're not dealing with <laughs> We're not dealing with deep, yeah. It's so funny, like, you travel around the world, you go to different countries, you get to know those places. Yeah. But there's still things you don't know about. And it was funny, before the show tonight, you asked what's going to be on the... What are you talking about from the news? Yeah. And I said, oh, Barnaby Joyce. Yeah. And then you said, who's that? I said, what's a Barnaby Joyce? Because yeah. <laughs> it's, it sounds like a children's character. Yeah. Just, like, dresses up as a rabbit. Look out, kids, here comes Barnaby Joyce. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not, not no. for kids. Yeah. No, not for kids. <laughs> but I realised in that moment how hard it is to try and explain to Barnaby Joyce. Mm. And the best I could come up with was he's the guy that was going to shoot Johnny Depp's dogs. Yes. <laughs> and do you think because he never got to kill that dog, that's why his life's got so bad? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. Now, there is an election coming up this year in yeah. the UK. Uh, are you confident that that will sort it out? So what out? Uh, but, well, the UK, I suppose. Oh, there was a story recently that Brits... Um, we, no longer, we no longer sell curved croissants in our largest supermarket because enough people wrote to Tesco complaining that they struggle putting jam on curved croissants. <laughs> so it doesn't matter who's in charge. We were defeated by Bendy Bread. There's, <laughs> yes. there's bigger problems. But British politics has proved that the cream can rise to the top, but turds can float there too. It doesn't... <laughs> it kind of doesn't matter who it is. It's just, like, you know... Now, the, t the Tories have been in power for quite a while. Yeah. And compared to politicians anywhere in the world, they're mo the most outwardly posh and wealthy and entitled people. How do they get the working class of England to vote for them. Yeah, how, do they, how does that happen? It's extraordinary. You've heard them. They sound like sort of phones on vibrate. It's that same... <laughs> right? they, they've all got mad eyebrows. They're all... You know what I mean? They look like they're still breastfed. They've got that peculiar... <laughs> sort of... Like, just, like, lunging from one tip to the next. <laughs> and somehow people are like, that's my guy. <laughs> It just staggers me, the, the lack of options. It's the same in America, isn't it? You can sort of have, you know, the slippy ghost or the orange liar. It seems so weird <laughs> that, that those are the only options. Um, one last question I would do want to ask. I do have to let you go. But you've been doing stand-up since the age of 19. Yes, well, that's when we first met. Yeah, you were, we were 19 when we met. Yeah. What would you have done if it wasn't comedy? <sighs> Time. Um, <laughs> like, I think maybe a teacher. I think I'd be an awful, embarrassing teacher. Do you know what I mean? They'd be kind of like, I'm, being a teacher is a proper job. I'm saying I would be that kind of, let's put a play on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's, let's, do, a, let's do a play about issues. Call me Ross, like that. Yeah. Kind of, do you know what I mean? Because that's the thing, I think comedians, <laughs> comedians need to be liked too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're here or not. Do you know what I mean? Do you, you know, <laughs> Answer the register however you want. <laughs> Just getting a water bottle, flicking it up. Is that what you do? Who likes TikTok? <laughs> do you know what I mean? All that. Yeah, I would be a. But then that's kind of what I am in real life. That's what comedians are. You're just desperate to be loved to the point where you have to travel to different countries to find strangers. <laughs> <laughs> to literally tell them thoughts you've had in your kitchen <laughs> so they laugh at you. Well, <laughs> we are very... <laughs> but we, well, that's no, the sad truth. It's you know. absolutely true. Uh, Russell Howard is touring the country at the moment. Would you please thank Russell Howard? Hey. Hey. Thank you so much.